When I started driving in December of 2015, it was refer a new driver and earn a thousand dollar bonus. And the new driver referral bonus has continued on until, until the 18th, where in several US markets, Uber has discontinued the new driver bonus referral program. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the news, share with you the markets, share with you a driver response, reaction to it, and then stick around because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you why I think really Uber's doing this. Everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Uber New Driver Referral Bonus Program, which as of the 18th of this month, several of our readers have reported that Uber has sent them notifications that has been discontinued. So let's jump right in. So number one, what is the new driver referral bonus program? Well, it's still alive and well in San Francisco. As you can see right here, if I refer a driver, then that driver can go out and do 100 trips and they're gonna get what they get, which is the guarantee. But if they do that, then I'm going to get a bonus because I was the one who referred them. And as you can see in this screenshot, I can earn up to $1,000 for doing that kind of a referral. So that's been some good money. Now, no one's gonna get rich doing this, but you know, every month or so, I've got an extra two to $800 coming into my bank account. That was pretty okay. But times have changed, and effective on the 18th, times changed quite a bit, quite a bit of surprising news. Number two, so does Uber still have a new driver bonus referral program? Well, the answer is yes and no. As you can see here on our Facebook feed, we see that as of 918, we will no longer be offering a referral reward for inviting friends and family to earn with Uber in Denver. We will be sure to notify you of any future changes to referral rewards in Denver via email. So that was some big news. And then other drivers started to share with us that they were getting the same notifications in other markets. As you can see right here, uh, we see Portland, Oregon, we see Knoxville, we see Cincinnati, lots of markets. So what I'm showing you right now is the complete list, right? Rhode Island, College Station, Texas, Portland, Oregon, Knoxville, Tennessee, Denver, South Florida, Orange County, the OC, Milwaukee, Cincinnati, Miami, upstate New York, Phoenix, Arizona, Boise, Fort Myers, and Columbus, Ohio. So that's what we know so far. We've asked Uber to give us a list, but they have not responded with a list. So that's all we know right now. So if you're in those markets, there is no longer a, a driver referral program for your specific markets. Now you could still refer somebody in another market like San Francisco and still get a bonus, but for drivers in your market, uh, no bonuses, nada, done. Three, what do drivers think about this? Well, the response we've seen so far on Twitter and on Facebook is most drivers are like, all right, this is a good thing. Now, why do they say it's a good thing? Well, it's a good thing because there's plenty of drivers. So in those markets where this is going into effect, apparently there's plenty of drivers. Uber doesn't want any more drivers. So this means there's going to be more demand for the current crop of existing drivers. This is kind of like thinning the herd. Also, since there's less drivers, there's more of a chance to get a surge up right? Because with more demand and fewer drivers, that's when surge kicks in. So overall, it sounds like it's going to be a win-win for the drivers and for, for Uber. Uh, as you can see in these comments here, I think our, our reader driver, John Hudson, really nailed it when he said, first off, there are already too many drivers in my area. The last thing I'm going to try to do is get more signed up. So... That about says it all. Most drivers are like, great. Of course, there are some drivers like me who have made some money. Not, you know, not again, I'm not getting rich on it, but I've made some money doing this. But when I, ha when I can weigh the options of more demand, less drivers, better, um, you know, surge, um, I can definitely make more money that way than getting this, these referral bonuses. So four, why did Uber do it? Well. I, they haven't told me why they did it, but I got to think they did it because they're cutting costs. They're 
trimming their expenses. They're trying to become more profitable. And if you're in a market where there's already plenty of drivers, some corporate executive, some consultant must have said, hey, this is a place where we can really save some money. We've got plenty of drivers. The, the, the pickup times are really short. Why do we keep adding more drivers? We don't need them right now. So let's discontinue this program, save some money, make our uh, stockholders happy, and, uh, and it's, it's a win-win for everybody. So what are the key takeaways here? Well, you can still make some money in markets where the program is still in effect. But if you're in a market where it's been discontinued, that's it. That's the end of the program. That doesn't mean it can't come back, but for now, it's gone. Most drivers who have commented on this seem to like it. Me, as a driver, I like it. I hope they do it in San Francisco. Why did Uber do it? Save some money, cut costs, and um, it's a win-win. So I gotta say, for the first time in a long time, I gotta say Uber's doing something that's actually a win-win. It's a win for them because they're saving some money, and it's a win for the drivers, the current drivers, because there's going to be less drivers on the road, which is gonna increase demand, which could also increase, uh, give you more surge in your particular market. So as much as I'm reticent to do this, I'm gonna say good on you, Uber, good on you. All right, guys, this is Jay Crater. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. It's great to bring you this uh, breaking news. Um, instead of driving this morning, this is, uh, <laughs> this is morning. Usually I do my videos in the afternoon, but Harry the Rideshare guy said, get out there and make that video so we can break this news out there on YouTube. So here we are doing it. If you like the video, join uh, our YouTube channel, right? We have a great channel. Uh, we bring out new content three to four times a week. Keep you up to date. Keep showing you how to make more money in less time. We'd love to have you as part of the team. Y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.